Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101. Uh, if you don't know who this is, this is Andrew Kramer and I bet he's the best tutorial maker on YouTube. He's the reason why I got into video effects and 3D and uh, he has just released a new tutorial about making an apocalypse uh, animation. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, he made it using Cinema 4D and since we are a Blender channel, I'm going to try and recre recreate the entire tutorial uh, in Blender or at least what, I'll, what, is managed, what you can do in Blender. Are using blender uh, let me just show you a small clip of what is what the animation is uh, so that you can uh, know what we are going to be watching and i would also recommend to go to the channel uh, i think he's it's not his channel he, this is on uh, cinema 4d uh, the official cinema 4d uh, channel uh, so that's where he posted it but uh, you can go on and uh, watch that tutorial so that when i make my tutorial about blender you can uh, know what we're doing so let me just play you the clip uh, for a bit and so that you can see what we're talking about and take a look at what we created i don't want to play the entire clip because I want you to I want to encourage you to go watch the entire thing because uh, it's a very very exciting animation so yeah you can see there's quite a lot of things going on here and uh, if we successfully manage to recreate the scene uh, which I think we which I'm very positive we will be able to do uh, because nothing here is that complicated and uh, there isn't anything Blender can't handle here except the limitations of my computer so uh, only this part of the Cinema 4D. So the first thing we're going to take Let's a look see. at is this debris. We shouldn't do the sound of. So the only thing that I'm, I may not be able to do is this smoke simulation. That's too heavy for my computer to do, but Blender is capable of doing something like that. It's just the limitations of my computer and uh, the rendering capacity. If I try to render that, uh, it would take way too long for for it to, for something i want to do so yeah i won't be doing this more uh, but uh, most of the other things i'll have to do uh, just so i can teach you so yeah let me just show you because i've i watched the tutorial and uh, try to experiment with blender and see what it does what i what can what i can manage to do and uh, this is what i've managed so far uh, just the first opening sequence uh, i've already done let me just play that for you no audio nothing just Yeah, so that's the opening sequence and then we have this simple animation that's okay and now this is all done in Eevee and you can see it's real time I can just go around the cam uh, this uh, just to see very simple setup nothing fancy it's the, cam it's the camera movement and we haven't added in any effect to, to make it look like a storm uh, but I've added in some camera shake and uh, things like that just to give it the feel and then we'll add in the particle system to simulate uh, that uh, storm effect and which will sell uh, the scene even for even more so uh, as I was creating this part I, I did I recorded it as a time-lapse so I'm going to upload that time-lapse uh, my second channel blender money if you want to just go in and uh, look at uh, the process of just doing that scene uh, there won't be any commentary for that part I'm still I, I still want to first go through the entire scene create the entire sequence and then come back and do a commentary or step-by-step -step tutorial after I make the entire thing but uh, if you just want to see uh, the time-lapse of how I made this you can go to the second channel and watch that I make sure to subscribe to uh, just so you can get any updates or and also make sure to turn on notifications uh some of the effects here uh, i think this let me just see ah, it's here. welcome back to another very exciting presentation today we're going to be taking and what we did is we created this short animation so let's go and take a look at what we created Yeah, some of the effects like this 
cloth pairing. I think I've done before. So, uh, and uh, some of the things I'll just do online, sorry, uh, live in a live stream um, in the experimentation process. Uh, so if you want to watch me experiment with the with different effects uh, without, before we get into the actual tutorial, because the tutorial will be shorter, uh, but uh, sometimes people want to watch uh, how I solve uh, different problems that I encounter when creating projects. And if you're that kind of person and I want to watch uh, the experimentation, that process of uh, figuring out how to get things done, or yet, you know, get things done, uh, you can join us in the live streams uh, as we, we have been doing. Uh, so just turn on notification. I haven't really figured out uh, the, uh, the, time, the times I want to be streaming. So just subscribe and uh, hit the notification so that when I go live, you can uh, get a notification uh, that I'm live and you can join us into the experimentation. But uh, after I do the experimentation, I'll just do a short tutorial or a step-by-step -step tutorial. It shouldn't be longer because I'll have figured out everything and uh, compile it, compress it, compress them, the entire thing in maybe a 10 to 15 minutes uh, tutorial. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's the update I wanted to make. Make sure you go to the to this video and uh, watch that so that when we get to the tutorial you know at least what we are talking about as uh, yes yeah, so thank you for watching again make sure to leave a like subscribe uh hit the notification bell uh the notification bell and uh yes see you